What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to add 2D annotations to our detail view. Okay, so the, de the detail view that we will be working on is this part here. So as you can see, I am generating our detail view from our 3D model. So it's always a good practice not to use an AutoCAD drawing and then import it in Revit and then use it as your uh, detail view. So it's always good to create your detail view generated from the 3d model just like this one so here i created this section so i'm gonna open this section here and this is the section view so this is the name of that uh, section so this is where i'm going to add annotations to this uh, detail view okay all right okay so let's do this so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to add hidden lines to this uh, model or to this view so to do that since we're going to do annotation so let's go to the annotate tab because we need 2d elements so we are adding 2d elements to our uh, detail view that is generated from our 3d model okay so let's select uh, detail view so let's select this one and then from the line style i'll be using here hidden Okay, and then after that, um, for the chain, make sure this is uh, clear. We don't need that, but I'm going to add here an offset of uh, 6. Okay, and then using the line tool, so I'm going to pick here. here. Alright, so this will going to be representing the hidden faces in our metal deck layer of the floor. So I'm going to pick here. And then I'm going to pick another point here, pick, and then I'm going to place it here. Okay, so we have used our uh, line style hidden to draw lines for representing hidden faces in the metal deck layer of our floor. Okay, so now the next thing that uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to change the line style of my uh, element here so i'm going to select here modify okay and then here we will be using our modify tab and then i'll be using here line work okay so let's use our line work because i am going to change this line here to a hidden line okay so I'm going to select line work so let's click this one so we are going to modify this line style the line style of this that represents the edge of the steel beam so using our line work I'm gonna select here hidden as well let's click that one and then I'm going to pick this and as you can see, it will become a hidden line. Okay? So we are overriding our 3D model line to make it hidden. Okay? And then I'll just select here, modify. So that's it. So we just modified the line style representing the edge of the steel beam. Now, the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to draw another line. A rectangle shape to this side and then later on we are going to mirror that to the other side so let's go back again to the annotate so let's select detail line and then here I'll be using a rectangle and then for the line style I'm gonna use here thin lines okay so I'm gonna pick this and then I'm gonna pick here and then I'm gonna pick another point here okay so after you create that you can still change the dimension of this rectangle that you have created so let's say for example for this one i would i don't want that to be 140 i want that to be let's say 125 i'm gonna enter there you go and then for this one i want to change this like for example 370 and then enter just like that and then i'll select here modify 
Now to reposition this rectangle that we have created, I'm gonna hover my pointer over the line. I'm not gonna click that and then I'm gonna press tab. So you will notice once you press the tab once, it will highlight the chain of lines. Let me do it again. So hover your pointer over the line like that. Do not click. And then press tab once. There you go. And then click. All right. So after you select it, so I'm now going to select move. I'm going to pick this. And then I'm going to snap that again to the midpoint. There you go. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select here, modify. Okay, so that's how you uh, modify it. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add to the elements that represents bolts to our uh, plate. So we're going to add bolts to our plate. So it's just a 2D elements. Again, from the annotate tab, I'll be selecting here, repeating detail component. So I'm going to select that. And then from the properties, I will be using here uh, this one, A325 15mm plan. Okay, and then I'm going to add here like 30mm uh, offset. So 30. Okay, and then I'll be using here the peak lines tool. So I'm going to select that. Okay, and then I'm going to place it somewhere here to the right side of this line here you see there's the preview of the dotted line that's the offset of 30 millimeters so click there you go and then I'll select here modify okay so this is just a 2d family okay so you can create your own uh, repeating detail components family okay so now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to reposition our uh, bolt here so I'm gonna select this and then I can click this and then I can just move it below something like that just to reposition it okay and also I can click this blue dot here to reposition so let's say I want 300 there you go okay so that's it. So you can reposition. Now the next thing is I'm going to group this detail items that I have created. So I'm going to pick here using window selection just to select the rectangle and then the bolts that I have placed. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to group it. So let's select uh, create group and then we are going to put the name here. This will going to be uh, beam to column column connection and then I'll just select OK so once you do that so it's now uh, grouped so I can now mirror this to the other side so I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna use here mirror draw axis just click that and then I'm gonna pick here midpoint of our column there and then I'm going to pick another point here there you go and then I'll just select here modify so the center will gonna be I'm sorry the the midpoint or the middle of this beam here okay now so next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a uh, detail group okay so this time again from the detail panel so there's a tool here detail group so you can click the drop down arrow here and then you can select here place detail group just make sure the detail group is already loaded in your project so in my case it's already loaded so I'm gonna click this one and then I'll be using plate and uh, five bolts in section okay right and then I'm now going to place it here there you go and then I'll just select here modify it's just a 2d drawing okay and then lastly I'm going to add some uh, weld symbol so it's a symbol so again from the annotate tab you can find here a symbol panel you can click the symbol tool here just click that one and then you can select here so I'll be using the weld symbol which is already loaded in my project so I'll be using both weld symbol so I'm gonna place it somewhere here Okay, and then I'll select here, modify. 
Okay. So if I click this one, I can actually add here a leader line. So let me click that one. And then I want that to be pointing somewhere here. There you go. And then I will select this one. And then I'm going to modify the instance property. So tail note visible, I'm going to check that. There you go. So there's the tail note visible. And then I'm just going to put here a note. So I'm going to type here, uh, let's say, typical or TYP. And then I'll just select here, modify or apply, sorry. And then I'll just click outside. There you go. So that's how you add uh, 2D annotations to your detail view. Again, it's always a good practice to always generate your detail view from a detail or from your BIM model. Like what I did here. So I created the section which is uh, this one, beam column connection, this one. Just need to uh, modify the view to suit your uh, detail view. And then after that, you put some annotation to the annotation just to put up more details to your detail view. Okay? Do not import an AutoCAD drawing because it's not a good practice. Okay? So always generate your detail view from your Revit model. Okay? So hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.